Here we have the installation instructions for the Control-M Automation API found in the Getting Started Guide. We will be following the instructions for Linux. We have already installed the prerequisites by Node and NPM. Please consult your OS-specific documentation for the exact steps to install the prerequisites. Next, we will create the directory we'll, where we will be extracting and installing the CTM CLI utility that we will use to interact with the automation API. After entering the directory, we will then download from the EM web server the CTM automation API zip file. After it has successfully downloaded, we need to extract it. Once it has been extracted, we can install it using the npm-g install command, giving it the ctm-cli.tgz option. Next, we can add an environment. Here, we've specified the name home with our endpoint URL, em user as our username, and we have a password blurred out. We're built using the ctm build command with a sample job flow to verify that everything is working correctly. The CTM provision images Linux lists the images that we can install on our Linux machine. To provision, to provision an agent, you must have at least Java 1.8 on the machine. To install a control M agent with the Hadoop plugin, we use the CTM provision image big data agent dot Linux option. If you'd like to skip the output of the installation, you can skip to about five minutes and 34 seconds in the video.
Now that the agent and Hadoop plugin are installed, we can see we have an installed-versions.txt file. We can also do a CTM build on a JSON file containing a job definitions and connection profiles, and it will build successfully. We can now run that file using CTM run, and we'll return a run ID. Using CTM run status, I'm giving it the run ID as the input option. We'll be returned with the current status of that job of the jobs run by the previous run command. We can see that our job is still executing. If we run it again, we'll see still executing. If we wait a little bit longer, we can see that our job will be completing successfully soon. Let's try again. Okay, and now we see that it ended okay. So now we want to check the output. So using the CTM run job output get option, we give it a job ID and we can see the full output of the job. If we want to just check for a certain line in the job, we can pipe this to grep, being that we're on a Linux machine. And we can see that our job that was using Spark to estimate pi, estimated pi to be about 3.13. Thank you.